be all right. Do you know what? I should not have got these colour glasses because I can't see them if I just put them somewhere. If I just put them then, the see-through half of them, so I'm just like, what? I know I haven't been making videos, guys, and I know I'm a terrible person. Just stab me now. But as you can see by my background, I'm in like a completely different space. I'm actually recording in my own room now since the little bedroom I used to use, I can't use it anymore. So I thought, I'll just set up one in my room, but it's took me like a month to do it and I don't know why, because I'm lazy as hell. But what can you do? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber, if you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how I made this look fully out of pound shop items. I have spent no more than a pound per product and I say that because, for example, these palettes here came in a pound pack, so they're 50p each, technically. And I got this black here for 50p. So altogether, I spent no more than £13. And I'm pretty sure it's about £11.50 I spent. Because some things were 50p. And some things I already had. I didn't have to buy it. I was thinking, why buy it twice? So the person who gave me this idea was my friend. Her name's Ellie. I like went into our group chat with Nicole. And I was like, yo guys, what can I do for... I ain't got any money to spend, hardly. What can I do for a, for a video? And I was like, why don't you... Well, Ellie was like, why don't you just get stuff from the pound shop and review that? And I was like, you smart as hell, girl. So that's what I did. So if you want to have a look at all these wonderful products and see how they work or don't work, then keep on watching. I'm just gonna let you all know that pretty much all the brands of makeup here are called Makeup Gallery, except this one. Ah! <sighs> Sorry, I'm thinking. These are by Manhattan only, these two little eyeshadow palettes. But that's it, it's just so I don't have to keep saying, this is Makeup Gallery. This is Makeup Gallery. It's all Makeup Gallery except those two, which is Manhattan only. So I'm going to take this angled brush and pick up this colour story eyeshadow. It's black and that's what colour my eyebrows are. So this is what I'm going to be using for today. Now I've got the Hide and Chick concealer and the Turn a Prime Dye eye primer. I'm going to use the concealer on this side and the eye primer on this side because I kind of want to see what both act as as a primer and I usually use concealer but I feel like if they do an eye primer for a pound and it's pretty good then that's pretty good right? <laughs> okay one thing I noticed about this concealer is every single brush line you can see it so I'm just going to tap that out with my finger real quick Next I'm going to go back to- Oh! Oh, the black's pretty good, okay. I look like a clown right now. I'm gonna go in with uh, this tiny, tinsy wincy Manhattan palette. You actually got both of these for a pound, so 50p each, 12.5p per shade. I'm not complaining. Dip into that red really violently because you know, might as well coat the whole brush for 12.5 pence. You know, this red isn't that bad. And the best part is, is it's still red. Usually reds go pink. Maybe it looks pink on the camera, because the camera's not aren't very good at picking it up. You know what? For the price I paid for it, it's not bad quality stuff. But I've only done one eye, so... Good change. I'm going to conceal my good crease. Now I'm going to be using this All That Shimmer. It's a eyeshadow shimmer and honestly, like, I bought, I bought one and then I lost it. So I bought another one because it was that good when I used it the first time. I had to show you guys it. And I actually ended up finding the, um, first one that I originally lost. I give it to my friend because only a quid. Now she gets this shimmery goodness. How the heck do I open this? Because of gravity. I'm not really getting it good. Ooh. I just popped the ball into my mouth. I could have like choked on it. But now I can actually get into it. 
<laughs> Where are my glasses? Now look at my. How? Here we go. Let's turn a prime die. Can't complain with that primer. We'll do the cookies with this. But I'll draw it and somehow trace it when it's invisible. Okay, I can already tell with this side. Just wrinkles galore. So these are the difference between the two eye sides. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, well, I can. I'm gonna go in with the Pro Liquid Eyeliner. So next up's foundation, I'm gonna be using Gorgeous Flawless. I think this is a shade too dark for me, but hopefully with the concealer and stuff, it'll just balance it out. I think that looks okay, now that's over. We can go in with the concealer to go underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with this matte bronzer. It is good to glow. Good to glow. Then I'm going to be taking this Smoothly Does It pressed powder for my highlighter spots. I'm not really sure what to call it because highlighter is like sparkle to me. This is just lighter. Using this glow with the flow. So I've realised literally all of these are puns in some way. So makeup gallery. That was a good thing to do. I'm just gonna take it my finger because I'm not really sure how to use cream highlighter. Oh my god, no. I don't usually lip liner lips, but here we have Power It Out lip liner. Pout matters. L liquid matte lip colour so it's quite good that it's matte and finally I'm just going to coat my lashes with this mascara it's called turn up the volume and define what I look for in a mascara is something that doesn't clump my eyelashes up and this is perfect so this is the finished look. I think it's quite good actually. Like I have my glasses on, I can't see it. When I was looking in the mirror, like there's nothing wrong with that. All this stuff all together probably cost me about £15. And sometimes like for example, this palette here alone costs more than all of that makeup. So when you see all these people using them big ass, 100, 100 pound um, palettes, you shouldn't feel like you have to buy what they're buying to achieve something pretty good. I mean, I don't know, I'm just quite shook to be honest. You know what, it's probably better to say what products I won't use again. I'll probably use everything except the foundation. I know, I don't, I don't really like it. So okay on my skin and it's a bit too dark. I use everything here. Again, I'm probably gonna keep it all. I was thinking about giving it to somebody, but I want it. So guys, this is... What the hell are you doing? There's a big ass moth in my room right now. This is the look, but this is five hours later after I've done it. You wanna obviously know how well it holds up. I think it's done pretty well, to be honest. Except the lipstick, that's gone, but... I've never found a lipstick that lasts more than five hours, maybe even more than an hour with the way I eat and drink. It's never good, it's, it has no chance. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. I don't mind.
My Instagram name is at 8 years average if you want to follow me there. So thank you so much for watching and see you later guys.